If you're looking for variety in the garden, then Australian native plants have it all. This is the amazing Grevillea insignis, and it's got holly-like foliage. It's just one example. This is the second group of 10 in our series on native plants, and we'll start with Christmas bells, Blandifordia grandiflora. It's a small perennial, it flowers in early summer, and it has wonderful, colourful, waxy flowers. Conospermum stocciatus is one of a number of plants commonly called the smoke bush, widely grown for the cut flower industry and very popular in Japan. Acacia leprosa scarlet blaze is a red flowering wattle with a weeping habit. Chorizema gudartum is the flame pea from Western Australia, red, yellow and orange flowers in spring. Xerochrysum bracteatum is the golden everlasting, beautiful flowers over a long period and a great garden plant. Oliara flogopapa is the dusty daisy bush. It's a small to medium shrub with masses of flowers in spring. Banksia ericifolia is the heathleaf banksia and it's regarded as one of the most attractive of all. Devicia herida is the prickly bitter pea. It's a small shrub with bright flowers from winter right through into spring. Verticordia bondelpha is the pink feather flower. Brilliant pink flowers on a branching shrub. Pandaria jasminoides is the bower of beauty. A woody scrambling vine or climbing plant with pink to white flowers from spring right through to late summer. Coming soon in this series, we'll take a look at ground cover plants, climbing native plants, some native orchids, as well as a range of rare and unusual Australian plants. So subscribe to the YouTube channel for regular updates on Australian native plants and all aspects of gardening.